Hello everyone. So I noticed there's a lack of uh, tutorials on how to implement effects for Yuminiki fan games. So I decided to make a little tutorial myself in order to show people that might not have the expertise in RPG Maker on how to implement effects. So here I have um, everything pre-made and I'm just going to go step by step and explain how I got to these. So let me demonstrate. So here you have the uh, NPC that grants effects. And then you get this. As you can see, it's equipped. If I press shift, I can turn into a witch on a broom and move faster. But if I press shift again, that turns off. And if I go and press it again, nothing happens. I mean, I turn back into a regular uh, Niwatsuki, which is the name of my protagonist. And I can no longer go on the broom. So how does that work? I'll explain in a second, but here you have something that says, well, that turns the effect into a prop, like when you are, uh, I mean, to a dummy, like, you know, when you're awake and you can no longer equip it, but there we go. So how does that work? Let's start with simple things. Let's look at the requirements. You're going to have, you're going to need a couple of uh, effects, I mean events. So you're going to need a equip and an act so the way this works is that the effects are items that are switches make sure when you create the items you have no consumption limit and it's a switch and then you make a separate second one which is a normal goods one which is, is the same and now you have two so this one serves as the actual effect and is what you'll see when you're in the dream world Versus this one, which you'll see when you are in the real world and nothing works. So, first of all, implementing that little switch is the easiest part. You simply have a, you have a couple switch, a couple switches. You have one for equipping, unlocking, and acting. But what you want is unlock here. So, if the switch for unlocking the witch is on, it will then check if sleeping is on, and if it is on, it will remove the, the working witch and substitute it with the fake witch. But if sleeping is off, which is to say you are in the real world, it will do the opposite. It will add one and one. Now, this might seem a bit backwards, but the way this is implemented is, let's say when you're doing the wake, the pinch to wake up, you would do, uh, you call this event and then you turn sleeping off. And then you do all that to go back to the re real world. But that's for, that's for later. Another video. And then you have the effect key. And what this does is it, whenever you press shift, you have a, a variable for key input that it will check if it's 7, which here you can see is shift. And if your current effect, which is also a variable, is 1, which is the one that's assigned to the witch, it will call that witch. And how does this work? Well, it just checks if the switch, which is for act witch, is off, which then it will turn it on. It will set to the broom. It will change the player speed, which I'll elaborate on in a second, and it'll call this event, and it'll do the opposite when the switch is on. Now, for equipping, it's very simple. You need to make an auto run proce uh, process that is triggered by the equip switch that we made. And if the current effect is one, which is the witch effect, it will call t the equip effect the dequip common event which will uh, make you go back to no habit to having no effect and turn off the uh, the act so that when you re-equip the witch it won't throw you into the broom immediately but if you don't have the witch effect equipped it will set the current effect to one it will change the actor graphic and that's it and then it'll turn off the uh, switch for equipping which after the conditional branch so that this doesn't 
freeze you. And you do similar for for the act for no effect. You do the similar thing for whatever you want your uh, protagonist to do, sit down, whatever. But for no equip, for no effect, you do player speed zero, which is the default. You do effect speed handler, which is I'll elaborate in a second, like I said. Current effect zero, and you go back to regular. Now, this is something that I don't think Yuma Nikki itself does, but it's something I do for my fan game. And it's that I have a common event for handling speed. So if the variable for speed is zero, it will slow down or speed up. So for actually granting the effect, if the switch for unlocking the witch is off, It'll show obtain which you can make it as flashy as you want, and then it'll set the switch on, and then change items. Now the reason this is is instead of checking for whether it's in the inventory, this could create a couple of uh, loopholes, and give an extra uh, witch effect if you already have it, and then it'll mess with the uh, with the swapping with the effects, which is something you don't want. And let's re review for well, again. So this, so the way equipping the effect works is the item is a switch, and that switch will turn on the equip common event, which is an auto run. It'll check if you already have it equipped, and if you do, de-equip it. But if you don't have it equipped, it will equip it and then turn itself off and then if you press shift it will turn put you on a broom or not or whatever effect your whatever uh, effect your effect has now i hope you found this helpful if you uh didn't quite understand it because it was a bit jumpy and uh erratic you could always feel free to message me i'll put my username in the uh for discord in the description of the video and uh hope you enjoyed it bye